race war. Whose team are you on? Black people or white people? Is there a race war? Did I miss it? Democracy cannot survive the uninformed masses. The uninformed masses will trade, as Jefferson later said, a hundred years of hard fought civil rights for a half an hour of welfare. It would be frightening for this country to be taken over by people who refuse to reason and don't know that that's what they're doing. They don't know they're refusing to reason. They think that there are certain issues upon which there can be no reasoning. And you literally can't talk to them. My thing is education, education for liberation. So if I oh, that again? education for liberation. I like that. Yeah. When things weren't getting done, she knew how to get to the people who could get a light bulb changed. How do you fix that? Well, I think you're gonna th it's going to seem like a non-answer. It's because of something that they've seen on social media. To start with. It's because of something that they've seen on social media. When things weren't getting done, she knew how to get to the people who could get a light bulb changed. Children at ages three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, they in fact are all have different makeups. They're developing. They're trying to figure out whether or not there's a vaccination would affect one child that's at such and such an age and not another child. That's underway, just like the other question that's illogical. And I've heard you speak about it because you always, I'm not being solicitous, but you, you're always straight up about what you're doing. And the question is whether or not we should be in a position where you uh, um, are, why can't the, the, the experts say, we know that this virus is, in fact, uh, um, uh, is, 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 is in fact, uh, um, uh, is, 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 it's going to be, uh, or excuse me, we, 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 is, 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 it's going to be, uh, or excuse me, we, we, we know why all the drugs approved are not temporarily approved, but permanently approved. Yeah. That's underway, too. I expect that to occur quickly. Well, that means, you mean for the FDA? For the FDA. Yeah. So the what Federal you, Drug Administration. You, you said that you're talking to scientists, so, but what are, what are they telling you, Mr. President? You talk about vaccine mandates. There are, I get calls all the time. People say, I've already had COVID, I'm protected, and now the study says maybe even more protected than the vaccine alone. Should they also get the vaccine? How do you make the case to them? You know, that's a really good point, Sanjay. I don't have a really firm answer for you on that. That's something that we're going to have to discuss regarding the durability of the response. vaccine is more predictable that the CDC is saying that's a direct quote so basically they're saying natural immunity well you know you might get immunity you might not get immunity vaccines more predictable that's what they're saying uh, we're going to um, consider if that's true or not so what I want to know is what is the White House doing to combat medical misinformation call 1-800 call FBI or submit a tip at tips.fbi.gov protecting our communities together whiteness can be weaponized how are you going to respond to people who just say this is sour grapes because if if we don't look like the community we serve how can that community trust us What school officials nationwide want is for the feds to provide some level of intel that will give them some sense of what kind of threats are heading their way. Tip at tips.fbi.gov. Protecting our communities together. Report hate crimes. If two black people killed a police officer, they would instantly become heroes. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, I well, have to make a, do I fight by a gun? Oh, no, I don't want to buy a gun. You know, but you said, oh, I'm not. Oh, oh yeah, I'm Gloria. We're going to have to talk about this gun thing offline. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. We are out of time. I am Leila. I work as a content developer. We develop videos, infographics, and motion graphics to combat extremist content. ...invited in to repel foreign intervention after a coup.
delivering the solidarity shares to families in need. And it's in downtown Albany, Troy, and the refugee center that gets food. To go for a smart bomb. One video of one bomb, Mr. Moss. The American people bought that war. Mm -hmm. War is show business. You want me to produce your war? You need a theme, a song. Protesters just sang the Star Spangled Banner and to restore America's faith in science. What we're doing is, number one, that's something like 45% of the overwhelming disinformation on Facebook comes from 12 individuals. Yep. I said they're killing people. Those 12 individuals, yep. that misinformation mm -hmm. is going to kill people. Not a joke. Not a joke. Mm -hmm. It's like telling your kid, I tell you what, you remember, four years old, when you see a red light cross the street. I mean, come on. I, I shouldn't make fun of it. That's good. It's good. It's good. We just have to keep telling the truth. That's why, for example, my wife just flew to Alaska today. So it's, you know, and by the way, there's, there's pockets. We just heard that YouTube is banning all misinformation videos, and I really want to thank them for that. It's because of something that they've seen on social media. She knew how to get to the people who could get a light bulb changed. They are doing, they are doing the examinations now, the testing now, and making the decision now. You know, I well, make a, do I find buy a gun or not? I don't want to buy a gun. You know, but you feel, oh, I'm not. What's going on? It's disgusting and it has to end. And those who are enabling the disinformation have to stop. Our steps. We know the effect of this. We know that over half the people that haven't gotten the vaccines is because of something that they've seen on social media. Now, these individuals are still at large. They are out there on these platforms at this hour of this day, literally depriving people of their lives by lying to them. It is unacceptable and we have to stop it. So today, New York City is calling on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram to de-platform the disinformation doesn't take away their bully pulpit that is killing people. Stop them now. Kick them off your sites right now, completely, immediately. It was quite clear that the point here was that I'm going to do what I want to do, and that's that. I said, look, if you're going to do what you want, I'm going to do what I want, but you're not going to like it. And she's like, what's that? And I start to call her dog. And she says, oh, my dog won't come to you. Well, what she didn't know is I carry dog treats. <laughs> what? The letter is a fake. Well, at a news conference last Saturday, Malcolm X's daughter heard a letter for the very first time. The envelope that they're presenting is a fake. I am relieved that I am able to share this truth with the world today. Reginald Wood reads the words of his cousin. He would not have relied on, again, an unreliable individual such as Reggie Wood Jr., who my father, at the time of his death, did not think of very kindly. The letter is a fake. The envelope that they're presenting is a fake. That they say is evidence that the NYPD and the FBI conspired to have their father assassinated. The envelope that they're presenting is a fake. Maybe he just wanted a little bit of attention or his 15 minutes of fame, something to do with Malcolm X's death and his daughter. All the uh, individuals that were involved in putting the letter out to the media. Most uh, Good to see you, Ben, and we should say you're not representing the family at this time, but I know the Wood family brought the letter to you in November. Why was it not revealed until last weekend? My freedom is being kind of disturbed here. No, screw your freedom. What? What more do you need to see? The vaccine is FDA approved. Stop the spread of the lies. Stop the spread of COVID. If you don't stop the lies, then you are complicit in the spread of COVID. You've been patient. But our patience is wearing thin. You talk about vaccine mandates. There are, I get calls all the time. People say, I've already had COVID. 
I'm protected, and now the study says maybe even more protected than the vaccine alone, should they also get the vaccine? How do you make the case to them? You know, that's a really good point, Sanjay. I don't have a really firm answer for you on that. That's something that we're going to have to discuss regarding the durability of the response. How can you force a human being to take it against their will? All of those other rights can only be subverted if they begin by imposing censorship. You're not going to get COVID if you have these vaccinations. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm uh, sick of everyone armchair saying that they know more than the doctors. By being able to silence people who want to speak. So the coup d'etat that we are all fighting today is a coup d'etat that starts with a conspiracy between the government agencies and the big technology companies. The challenges facing the United States in human rights are deep-seated. They did not just emerge over the past four years, such as Black Lives Matter. Boycotting the awards, blasting them for being biased. Here's ABC's Andrew Fuji. Relationships with people who don't look like us and who are, who are different than us. Yeah. And I feel your friend as a non white person. It has to end. You have no right to put people's lives in danger as not being gain of function. So what was, let me take, finish. You take an animal virus and you increase its yeah, transmissibility yeah. to humans, right. you're saying that's not gain of function? Yeah, that is correct. And, and Senator Paul. It's just like Assemblyman Dick Gottfried said, we all understand the liberties and freedoms of this country, but we value life. And if someone is standing in the way of human life, if someone is causing people to die, it has to be stopped, and these platforms can do so much about it. We demand they do so immediately. When you build a charging station, it's like back in the day when my grandpa worked for the Milk and Oil Company back in the turn of the, in the 1920 in that area. And we just heard that YouTube is banning all uh, vaccine misinformation videos, and I really want to thank them for that. A public awareness campaign called Wrong Time for the Flu, Right Time to Get a Flu Shot. This is the beginning of the cold and flu season. Uh, make a different decision when it becomes very, very practical. So now someone is literally looking at the possibility they won't have a paycheck for a prolonged period of time. They may even lose their job ultimately. Um, a lot of people are going to look at that and say, hold up, okay, I'll get vaccinated. They went from state to state convincing people that they put, allowed them to put 20,000 gallons of gasoline under the ground. They didn't want them around. Just like the other question that's illogical, and I've heard you speak about it because you always, I'm not being solicitous, but you, you're always straight up about what you're doing. And the question is whether or not we should be in a position where you uh, um, are, why can't the, 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 Experts say we know that this virus is, in fact, uh, um, uh, it, 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 it's going to be, uh, or excuse me, we, we, we know why all the drugs approved are not temporarily approved, but permanently approved. Yeah. That's underway, too. I expect that to occur quickly. Well, that means, you mean for the FDA? For the FDA. Yeah. So the what Federal you, Drug Administration. You, you said that you're talking to scientists. So, but what are, what are they telling you, Mr. President? What they're telling me is let us decide based on scientific data and how we proceed, do it the way we would ordinarily do it. Look, for example, everybody talks about how, you know, this virus, can, this, this, uh, uh, the, the drugs that are designed to kill the virus came along so quickly. Been working on it for two decades. There's nothing quick about this. It's been over two decades. So people say, I'm not taking a drug that was so approved so quickly. It's been two decades. The truth is, we haven't said it enough to people to allay their fears. There's nothing, their, their fears. It's nothing that just happened to yesterday. And they said, well, let's take a shot on this. And there's a process. Usually the process takes the better part of a year or more to get some of these things decided. But the expectation, they're not promising me any specific date. But my expectation, talking to the, the group of scientists we put together, over 20 of them, plus others in the field, is... is our steps. We know the effect of this. We know that over half the people that haven't gotten the vaccines is because of something that they've seen on social media. Are immigrants a major reason why COVID-19 is spreading in the U.S.? 
No, absolutely not, Dan. I mean, if you just look at the data and look at the people who've gotten infected, look at the people who are in the hospital, look at the people who died, this is not driven by immigrants. News is public property for at least discussion and um, monetizing things. It's a whole other thing. But for NBC Universal, what do they have to do with CBS, by the way? Saying, you know, blocking my if two black people killed a police this? officer, they would Please. instantly become heroes. Yeah. Now, when they are ready, when they've done all the scientific need be done to determine children at ages three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, they in fact are all have different makeups. They're developing. They're trying to figure out whether or not there's a vaccination would affect one child that's at such and such an age and not another child. That's underway. You're not going to get COVID if you have these vaccinations. Yeah.